there's people going through such grief right now or a sense of loss. And we know that that grief is real and that we also know that no one is alone. We go through our own grief in our own very personal way and there's no time or there's no one way to do it. We need to honor however we grieve, we are to grieve um, and honor our own grief, but we know that we don't have to be alone. And I think one of the beautiful things that we've been doing is offering grief groups. And what is special about our grief groups on Sunday evenings is that we are connecting around love, we're connecting around peace and compassion, and we're connecting with the other side. So Beth and I have been running different grief groups and we have connected with loved ones on their side, on the other side to bring forward profound messages that are full of such love, reminding them that yes, while their loved one is no longer here in the physical, that they are still so very present. And starting on January 9th for four Sundays in January, we will be offering and opening a new group for anybody who is interested in joining that. Barrett, what I love about the, the group that you have run uh, before that I've had the blessing and I'm grateful to have attended is um, that two things you know, that people have said and that I have realized is that you know, grief can look like all different things. Grief can be a grieving um, something you didn't receive um, as, as in your childhood. It can be, yes, the loss of a loved one. It could be not finding your place in the world. It could, there's so many ways that grief can manifest. And that's what the feedback was that we heard. I didn't even realize all the ways that grief had manifested and how it was affecting my life. And um, I got so much out of that. And also how um, the way you run your groups is and how, you know, I, I help to people to open up to the other side is um, they're opening up to their gifts at the same time. So grief really is a gateway into our true self and in all the ways we're gifted. So while it can bring up many difficult feelings, it also is profoundly uh, amazing what comes through when we are able to delve into that grief and get it's like our true self who we really are underneath is able to flow through so I'm so excited and I will be joining that group in January again so look at the information below yes it connects us to our deeper self and it connects us to um, our loved ones and I think it brings the sense of peace the possibility for peace that that you are still so connected. And I think the last thing I just wanna share is what we've been receiving so many emails from people who have been in past sessions with us is that they are now open up and they are actually receiving messages from loved ones. They're getting them in their dreams, they're getting them throughout the day. And they've been writing us amazing emails back about all the, um, how, how grateful they are that it has opened them up because our loved ones are never truly gone. They change form, but they're still so present here. And that love is so accessible. And these groups are filled with such love and, the, and full of such peace. So we hope that you'll, if you're grieving or going through loss or know someone else, we hope that you'll share with them uh, the January workshop that will be opening a new workshop. And if there's any questions, let us know. But we um, would love to see um, you in that group and to clear and to connect around grief. And we'll put the link below so you can uh, check us out. Thank you.